off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Hi guys, I have something really fun to show you um, But you also need to go back to like previous day and um, check this out really quick. Um, we got the Ninja Creamy. I finally got it in the mail and I'm very excited to show it to you guys and to actually use it. But we only have one pint and some of you have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I need you to flip back to yesterday when we initially got it in the mail and so go check that out and then join me in the kitchen and I'm gonna show you. Oh, I'm so excited. I've had to wait all day to start this video because I need to show the kids how to use the, the creamy um, machine and I only have one pint to, <laughs> to make ice cream with. I have been searching for more pints and I don't have any more. I have two more coming next week but I've been searching and trying to find more because we're gonna need like You'll see. Go check that out and I'll be right back. Okay, guess what came? We're gonna do a whole video or at least a whole section of our day with this bad boy, but not tonight. But what I am gonna do is open up the pint <laughs> and get it in the freezer in order to film a video using the Ninja Creamy so we have actual ice to cream up. So stay tuned for that. Um, it only came with one pint and I have two more coming from Amazon But they aren't gonna be here till next week and I'm trying to find another location to get some faster because Everyone's buying these and they're not available very fast on Amazon All right, Max is part of our debut opening of the creamy We're only gonna open it in order to get the pint into the freezer and then we'll be back with you another day to see how this works right Ashley Hopefully it works. And because we just went and got a frosty, we will actually be able to tell which one tastes better. Better, right? Once we get this open, we'll see. Tell you how it works. Okay, she's being a smart aleck. I was wanting to tell her what to say, and she's being a punk. But we will be back in just a minute. Yeah. For you, for us, it's a whole new day. But but we're just gonna hurry and freeze one of the pints so that we can show how to use it tomorrow. It's gonna be one day. Well, so like ready, one. set. Gonna try to keep the pace, but someday we will find that the world has changed, but we stay true to each other. I will always be there for you whenever you need me. All right. So, Dad, what does this say? Gary. <laughs> what does it say? This is not a blender. You've heard him, folks. Oh. It says, do not process blocks of ice or ice cubes. Do not make a smoothie or process hard, loose ingredients. Yeah, it Food needs to do it full. to release its juices and combine with other ingredients. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Yeah. We're taking this and we're putting this in the freezer until tomorrow night. You guys, it's here. We are so excited to have this machine. Have you guys ever heard of this? If you're not on TikTok, there's a really high chance you've never heard of this creamy. It's called the Ninja Creamy. Ninja is an excellent brand. They make the blenders that, you know, make wonderful blenders. But as you saw from Jason, he keeps making fun of me and saying that it's just a blender. And you saw him read this cute little note that came on top of the package. This is not a blender. It is not, in fact, a blender. It is an ice cream maker, a creamy maker. It has functions for ice cream, light ice cream, gelato, sorbet, smoothie bowl, and milkshake. Um, I have been wanting to find new ways to incorporate protein drinks, protein desserts, healthier options, not only for myself, but for my kids, for Ashley, but also for my Abby when she has her jaw surgery. So we have been kind of exploring different options. I have a juicer. If we have time today, I might actually pull out the juicer as well. It's not as fancy dancy as this guy, and we're not as excited about it, but I do need to start using it because I have a whole bag of carrots from Costco. So what is the deal with this Ninja Creamy? Um, this isn't like a, a full on like, <laughs> I don't know what it is, 
but it has these blades inside the um, inside the cup here that spin down through the pint and take the frozen item and slice up that mixture and creamifies it. Um, and it is, go and look at it on TikTok, go search Ninja Creamy and you'll understand that like, it's a total thing. What I love about it and the reason why I got it is that you can take protein drinks. This is just an example. Um, I did the, the Dairy Gold Fit protein drink um, that I got at Costco for Ashley, but I just got these ones from Target today because I want to try strawberry. I don't have like any kind of a bulk strawberry protein powder. Um, so I wanted to try strawberry without having to buy it in a big, huge case, but I will buy it in a big case. I will buy a big container of powder if it works, if it tastes good. So what I can also do is use these protein powders. PB Fit protein powder, peanut butter is excellent. I love this one. You can add this to a chocolate flavor. So you're not only getting, what is this one? 14 grams. Actually, hang on one sec. Okay, this is the Ninja Pie. I need to kind of slow down. <laughs> I get very excited about this. It's also why I'm filming this portion of the video without the children here so I can explain it all because they are gonna want to creamify this. So right now, my pint filled up to the fill line. It's actually right here. And I actually have two containers of this chocolate milk, but it is actually packed with protein. So I actually have 28 grams of protein in this right here. Now this isn't the kind that they say tastes like a Wendy's Frosty. The, what is it called? The Fair Life chocolate drinks taste like Frosty when you mix it up. Costco doesn't have them right now. They only have the, I think their core power, I think is what it is from Fair Life. Um, I would love to be able to afford those ones. I've heard those ones taste even better than the regular Fair Life chocolate drinks. Um, and they have a ton of protein in those ones as well. But it was, I don't even know what the price it was, $20 for only eight containers. And that was too much money for me. <laughs> so, we are gonna practice on a regular chocolate one, but it does have protein in it, 28 grams of protein. So what I could have done before I froze this drink right here is I could have added like a PB Fit powder to the mix, to the chocolate drink. Um, and then once I creamify it once or twice, I could actually add anything I want. I could actually add regular peanut butter. I could actually add, I could add Oreos, M&Ms, like you could add mix-ins and you just hit the mix-in um, button here on the front. That's the respin. Oh, do they have, yeah, mix-ins is right here. So you can kind of make it like a an Oreo McFlurry, if you will. So there are endless op like options of how to make this. Um, and that's why we went ahead and got a vanilla protein powder because if I just add milk and this vanilla protein powder or, um, I could add a strawberry drink and vanilla protein powder to make a strawberry ice cream, but double packed with protein. Do you see where the like the options are like endless? Then you could add fresh strawberries as your mix in. You could add blueberries. Oh, Abby, I think is ex Abby and Ashley, I think are excited to make acai bowls where you turn it into a smoothie. I think where you add um, like a vanilla base or a strawberry base and then you add a whole bunch of frozen fruit to it, and then you can, then you make it into the creamy, and um, so it's a thicker version, you put it into a bowl, add more fresh fruit, granola, some people like coconut shavings to it. So if you want an infomercial that's really good on how to use this creamy, stick around, because I can't blend this until the kids get home. We're all going to salivate over this chocolate ice cream. That's what it's going to be as soon as this comes out. Um, what I am going to do, they say to like just kind of run it under warm water um, when it comes out of the freezer to kind of break it away from the edge of the inside of the cup. Um, so I might try that. But um, so we put this in the freezer last night. It does create like a little top divot to it. They say to like make it even on top. 
I don't know if I'm gonna be able to break that up, but I'm gonna leave it out here on the counter. Well, no, I won't. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna put it back in the freezer because it's. I will. I've still got an hour before the kids are home from school. But as you can see, we have like so many choices that we've been wanting to use, um, and I've been kind of stocking up on. Also, but I have also been collecting. I think they're up here, and I think they're in the closet as well. I've been collecting. Um, jello packets. I have not found sugar-free ones yet, but I've also found some cheesecake. You can also um, flavor it with almond extract or vanilla extract. So I've kind of been collecting different jellos. Let me see. I think I have a few more in here. I do. So Target doesn't have a sugar sugar-free jello. So I have just that's all I've been going to is Target or Costco. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure if I had a strawberry one, but I knew I wanted to get like a strawberry drink like this or add strawberry jello to the vanilla like protein drink. Like I would just use milk and then um, the vanilla protein powder, but then add a flavor of strawberry jello. But since obviously for me, the idea isn't to make an actual sugar ice cream. The idea is to make a sugar-free option or a close to sugar-free option, low calorie. So I do need to go to a regular grocery store and get that. I need to find some more sugar-free options. But for right now, we're gonna enjoy the sugar ones <laughs> just to see if they taste good. And then um, as I kind of do and hunt for more pints, you guys, I can already tell, without even having tasted it, that <laughs> I saw a TikTok video the other day where the mom had a whole pint for every single person in her family so that they all got to design their own flavor, their own thing, and they didn't have to share it when they created it so that if they didn't finish it, say if they have a, a night snack while they watch a show, then they can just put it back in the freezer. Then you just put it back onto the creamy, like right, you just put it back in and then um, it creamifies it again the next night and you can finish it. But that way everyone has their own pint. So that's kind of what I'm on a mission to do because Jason likes more gelatos. And then like if Abby were to make an acai bowl for breakfast, you see what I'm saying? Like everyone's gonna have their own preference and so I kind of want to get multiple pints. I should have just ordered like four or five of them. I should have ordered the four pack. When I ordered the two pack, I should have. I don't know why I did it. I think I was worried about price because this was a lot. But I did buy it with my Amazon credit that I got from my Fetch points. So if you are trying to earn points to get an Amazon gift card and you need to figure out something to get. Oh, who was it? You get a present from your work. You get a gift. Oh, is it Michelle? Michelle. Yes, get the Ninja Creamy. Ask for a Ninja Creamy with your work gift. Um, and that's a great option. And I will tell you, I'll be honest with this, whether this tastes good or not. Um, okay, so just really in general, before the kids get here and we get too excited about it, you take the little pint and you stick it into the little cup here. And then, hang on, let me put you down so that I can kind of show you. Okay, so the pint goes in, and then remember how the blade is there? Obviously you take the lid off. I gotta hurry and get it back in the freezer though. <laughs> it's already starting to melt around the edges. Okay, pint into the cup, and there's like a little ledge in there, so it just kind of sits in there. And then you take your lid, and there's little ledges, and it clicks in, you heard the click, right? Okay, now I'm down where you can see it. So then you put your cup onto the blender. Not blender, it's not a blender. It's not a blender. Okay, then you put it onto the blender and you just turn the handle until it clicks in. <laughs> it's so easy to use, you guys. And I don't have it plugged in on purpose because I knew I would get excited as soon as I heard that click. It's like a little ASMR thing, but then I would choose um, probably regular ice cream. I've heard if, they, if, you, if you use like a protein drink, you should use the light ice cream setting. Um, but I, this is technically a protein drink, but I'm gonna turn it into ice cream. So as soon as the kids get here, I've never wanted the kids to get home from school so bad. 
but I guarantee you this is going to be gone. Everyone will get a <laughs> share of it tonight and then we'll be able to make a new one for tomorrow. We're gonna um, clean this one out after we eat it all and then we'll make a new one. Maybe we should do a strawberry one. Hmm, we've done a chocolate one. I'm gonna try a strawberry, I wish I had strawberries. You could do strawberry protein drink with um, the strawberry jello add-in and try that. Maybe that's what we'll do tonight. So we can do another one tomorrow. Do you see why you constantly need to have one in the freezer? Because <laughs> if you eat one, you need to be able to have one ready to go. So that's why we want multiple pints. Now, let's get this. Oh, to release it, you just hit this button over here on the side and it brings it down. And then you push the button right here on the handle. You just push that and it opens up the lid. Um, and then you can get your creamy out just like that. But I gotta get this in the freezer. We've also decided that we're gonna clear this whole space right here for Ninja Creamies. So that they have to be on level surface in order to have a level top to it. I've also heard that if you don't put the lid on it when it goes into the freezer, it doesn't create that little bump on top. So we'll kind of experiment with that. Um, maybe I should actually use one of my um, what do you call chicken broth <laughs> bags. And I have a turkey too. I wonder where the turkey came from. Where did that come from? Anyway, we should use some of this stuff or move it to the other freezer so that we have, you know, we've got priorities here. We've got to put our, our pints lined up here. So it also comes with like this little mini recipe book. Um, I personally, I'm just gonna turn to TikTok and trying to find different recipes, but it does have some good ideas in it um, and it teaches you like how to pre-mix things if you're gonna do milks and powders and whatnot. You pre-mix it and then you put it into the pint um, and it tells you like when to add the add-in. You don't want to do an add-in before you creamed it, that kind of thing. Um, so it just kind of talks to you about like what are mix-ins, hard ones, soft ones, um, thick milkshake. This is the option that I was thinking of for Abby and her surgery where I can make her a milkshake outside of like a regular juice drink, um, but I can add a ton of protein to it but make it taste really yummy for her more like a treat but it has some extra nutrients in it the reality is i've already saved like a bunch of tiktoks and recipes from there because a lot of them are the protein ones and what protein drinks work better what what um, powders work better that kind of a thing um and like sometimes it's like a matter of when you creamify it you'll see when you creamify it the first and second time you actually need to put like a liquid into it as well and they have good ideas of what, you know, liquid um, works better. Ironically, sometimes water works better than like a milk or a, that kind of a thing. Um, but also, people are doing cottage cheese. And you know, I just tested my cottage cheese creamed thing and that's because I wanted to try it here in the Ninja. But I have seen a comparison of using cream, or uh, using the cottage cheese versus I think it was Greek yogurt um, and the Greek yogurt won but that being said I think some people enjoy the taste of Greek yogurt and the tart tang to that kind of yogurt I don't so if I were to try that option which there's Greek yogurts that have protein in them so it is a good option I would want to make sure I got a sweet one and added like a sugar-free jello or pudding to the mix in order to give it a little bit of extra um, sweetness to it so that it kind of cut down on the tart. People have also used like maple syrup or other like sugar-free options to sweeten it. You know what I mean? So if you can't tell, I'm very excited to use this and I want my kids home from school. So I gotta occupy myself before they come home. Okay, Ash, you ready? It looks like. Yeah, it doesn't look that great, does it? So let's put this bad boy hours. in. What? It hasn't been 24 hours. No, but we're, but we're plenty fine. We're that's only like two hours shy of 24 hours. Ugh, they're hard to get off. Okay. Okay. Ah. Okay, let's, here, let's rinse it. In oh, I don't think I have more water. So we're just gonna put it in. that in? Mm -hmm. Okay, now put this on. Okay, 
I'm gonna put it in. You wanna do it? It's gonna turn opposite my. It clicks in. Yep, gotta turn it so that they can see it. Power. And uh, power. Okay, now you push this button right here and you slide it down. Okay. Yep, and then you click the button here. Move this aside here. Okay. No, no, hang on. Show them what it looks like. So it's a powdery mess. Okay, this is what I saved the extra for. Get a spoon, Ash. We're just gonna get dig a little space. We're gonna just pour in the rest of that. So save a little bit of your drink if you, okay? Now we put the lid back on. That tastes exactly. Okay, get that on, I can't do it backward. No, 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 it's not on. It tastes exactly. Okay, it clicked. Like a cream, like a Wendy's Frosty? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do ice cream. Uh, let's do a respin. It's done. Hopefully. I think it is. Sometimes it can take one or two extras. Oh, it's stuck to it, so that's a good sign. Oh, look at that. Can you believe that? And you can actually make it fluffier. Should I try it? Yeah, try it. It tastes exactly like, it's a little like, not it's not. You could add more flavor. flavor. Should we add some more flavor? Should we add some pudding mix to it? Pudding? Yeah. That's pretty good though. Try it. You know what we could do is add some peanut butter and mix it in. Should we add some peanut butter? A little. Hmm. Kaylee and Jacob, come and see this. Okay, it looks really good. But it's, it's very kind. creamy. It's a little bland. We really haven't, I haven't seen anyone make it out of this brand before. So. It's also very like thick. Yeah, it's just like ice cream. It's pretty good though, right? It's not bad, but we're gonna add some peanut butter. We're gonna put some peanut butter right down there in the middle, and then we're gonna do it uh, mix in right here, mix in mode. Don't know why you have the squeeze one, but I got the squeeze one for our trip. But that looks so gross. <laughs> what do you think? You can taste the peanut butter. Does it need more peanut butter? It's yeah. definitely creamier. I think it, needs, it needs more flavor, huh? We could add more peanut butter. More peanut butter. More peanut butter and do another mix in? Yeah. Do I have any candy? I don't think I, I have. Mm, I would have. No, I have a Reese's Buttercup. And we're doing that. Okay. We're just gonna have fun with this one. There's extra protein in it. So we're gonna, don't tell them where my secret ice is. I knew this would come in handy. So we're just gonna do, should we do a whole chunk of it? A whole section? Okay, we're, we're just gonna, no, just break it into chunks. Break it again. Literally, drop them in. Just, <laughs> yeah, I know, it feels weird. weird. <laughs> just drop it in. It's also like. Okay, put it in. I feel like that's Okay, we're gonna do another mix in mode. That's good. Like, okay, mix in mode. It's harder. Oh, there's still chunks. Yeah, it doesn't like break up the chunks as much. It does slice through them a little bit. And tell me what you think. Now it's definitely like an ice cream treat. Good? I mean, yeah. it's gonna taste good because you're gonna get a chunk of Reese's in there. But, okay, now that that's chewed up ham, and we are just sharing this amongst ourselves. It's good ice cream. It's ice cream. Correct? Mm -hmm. It's just like 
Reese's Pieces ice cream. Mm -hmm. So, we're gonna put some in a bowl. Do we have any fun bowls? Ooh, where's my tiki bowl? <gasps> I gotta get my tiki bowl. Okay, I put mine in my cute little tiki cup that I got in Hawaii when Jason and I went. You can buy these at the Dole Whip store. Um, and then we had extras we gave to Chelsea to share with Abby. And now I'm gonna rinse this out and we decided we're gonna try a strawberry one for tomorrow. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do, because I've got a strawberry protein drink here, I think I'm going to add some um, strawberry jello, like a teaspoon of that and a teaspoon or tablespoon of the cheesecake jello powder before we freeze it. If I had frozen strawberries, I looked at the frozen fruit and I like hesitated on it at Costco and I was like, oh, I'll just get it next week and now I'm regretting it. We'll definitely get it on Monday. It's weird, this is strawberry? Vanilla. Is it vanilla or is it strawberry? It's vanilla. Why does it have a strawberry? High protein, strawberries and cream. It is. Okay, I was like, I thought I looked at the packaging. Okay. Strawberries and cream, which is perfect. I don't know why it's white, but I think. Why would it be pink? Okay. I wish we had some strawberries, like some frozen strawberries to put in there. Um, Should we just do one bottle of it and not, cause it's too, like, it's not gonna fit a whole one. Are you doing powder in it? Yeah, and then I'm gonna put some pudding. You should have put it in first. No, you mix it. You just uh -huh. mix. Oh my gosh, see? <sighs> the children and my husband are gross. So I know these should be sugar free when I go to the store next. Which probably is that? Well, I actually thought of something I could get at Target that was tempting to go back to <laughs> today. I've already been there once today. I went and got a prescription and these strawberry drinks. Okay, we just need to get a, okay, we're gonna do a teaspoon of the cheesecake powder. And then just because I think that the chocolate one didn't have a ton of flavor, um, and I can't add frozen fruit after I freeze this, even if I were to go to Costco tomorrow, which I'm tempted to just do a whole string of running and <laughs> around to find even more things to make this with. I'm gonna do a teaspoon of a strawberry that smells good and you know what I was thinking about you know you know how I've been talking about how the um, what do you call it the whole cottage cheese scenario right I love cottage cheese and pineapple and cottage cheese and blueberries and strawberries and raspberries I love that combo and it occurred to me it would be totally fine if you blended up the cottage cheese and put that in here as well, it would actually be the th thing that would fill this up. But I kind of don't want to mess with it. I want to see if this flavor of drink tastes good because premier protein drinks or powder is easy to get a hold of. So I want to see if it tastes good. But I know now from making that other chocolate drink that we need to add some extra flavor before we freeze it. So those powders like dissolve pretty quick. I'm just going to make sure that the jello fully dissolves. And then I'm gonna freeze it. And then we will make another one tomorrow. Board, it's already five o'clock. I gotta figure out dinner. So Pizza. we're gonna leave we're so gonna we leave this as a ninja creamy video. People oh. can search this. Ninja creamy. Oh, oh, they're making fun of me. Look at her face. <gasps> oh. Oh. <laughs> you're the thumbnails. She's mocking me. No, you, you, like how you want me to do the thumbnails, you're like <gasps> <laughs> I'm gonna use one of those. They mock me, but when they have easy access, oh, she just fell out of her swing. When she has easy access to make an ice cream, a protein healthy ice cream after school or for breakfast, the only downside is that like the kids that get up at seven in the morning for breakfast, <laughs> they're gonna wake her up if they start making these into little smoothies to take to school. That actually would be, Kind of cool, they could take them in these little cups that I have. They could just put the little smoothie into that um, and take it to school, a little strawberry smoothie, and they could actually put some like cut up strawberries in it to like, hmm, see if the ideas are endless. Leave a comment down below if you have a Ninja Creamy, if you have used it, or if you haven't, if you're interested. We're just diving in 
because I could not handle watching another creamy video on, on TikTok and not have one myself. So stay tuned. We're going to get a whole bunch more of these pints and we're going to make, maybe we'll do another video another day where everyone chooses their own flavor. See if we can come up with six Boy. versions. And actually Jacob, where did that one go? We just discovered that he has a dairy issue, right Jacob? You have a dairy issue? Yep. And this is lactose free. So the one we just made, he got to nibble on that. Did you like it, Jacob? It was good. <laughs> You're not a sweet guy anyway. I know, I know. So he's not a good base of judgment. That is the boyfriend. In case you came here just for the Ninja Creamy. <laughs> it's my daughter's boyfriend upstairs. All right, stay tuned. We'll see you another day. Maybe we'll have another creamy concoction we can share with you. Okay, take care you guys. Good night.